going on YouTube? Moose 78 back at you with some more American Truck Simulator. This, of course, is my Let's Play series, Stories on the Road. We are on episode number 20 today. Hope you're all doing well, by the way. And we do this every Tuesday and Thursday. And on Wednesday, I upload some gameplay footage without any commentary, so be sure to check all that out. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. And as always, be sure to check out the video description for some good links. Uh, I got my No Scope Gaming Glasses affiliate link down there. Got the link to my mod spreadsheet. Got the link to my Stories from the Road playlist. So lots and lots of good stuff down there. So be sure to check that out. We are down here in Phoenix. This is where we stopped and took our 10 hour break. We're gonna finish up our run down to Sierra Vista. Get the milk tanker delivered and hop out here so I can see the traffic coming from the other way. I probably could have made it there. Got this car coming out. I think he's going to. Uh, Gonna go ahead and go. Kind of seems like one of those spots you can sit at for a while. So far, we've had a pretty good run. Got a little hairy coming down to the rest area last night. Got a little exciting coming off the uh, on ramp. Other than that, it's been a pretty solid run so far. Kind of surprised at how heavy this milk tanker is, though. Uh, we're grossing just over 95,000 pounds, so. Hauling heavy. So far, the cat's doing pretty good. Got the 625 horsepower Caterpillar engine in this, so. Notice our fuel mileage dropped down to 6.8 from 6.9, which I kind of expect, you know, when pulling heavy like that, but that ain't too bad. And this could be all sorts of fun getting out of here. This could be fun. Now oh, those cars kind of stop short like that. I really can't go because it doesn't give me enough room to get the trailer around. I think I'm going to turn right and see if it doesn't uh, redirect us a different way. Maybe we'll get a break in the action here. Yeah, maybe. There we go. Caught a little break there. Yeah, intersections like that in this game can get kind of frustrating. You can sit there for a couple of minutes. Nice sunshiny day. Get out of Phoenix here and get back on the highway. Sure, clear that back there. Always got to watch my speed when I get into the towns and cities in Arizona because the speed limit is 25. 
get used to that 30 mile an hour speed limit. Thing coming off the off ramp. I don't see anything coming that way. And the light's green, so we can go anyway. It's like going past the airport. It looks pretty cool. It's going to be kind of weird going back to a lighter load after pulling this thing around. Drop it at eight high and get it going. Or as much as we can with this big old heavy thing. We're struggling to hit 60. Looks like there's a fair amount of traffic coming up by me, so I ain't gonna be able to get over. If there was anything coming off the ramp there. and merge when possible, kids. Not sure what this guy's doing. That's the last thing I need. Especially going up a hill. Guys cruising along about 45 mile an hour. That's pretty safe. I can definitely tell the difference between pulling a big heavy load like this than, you know, just kind of the average load. Doesn't look like there's anything over, so we are clear. Get over. an exit somewhere or something? It's kind of weird. 
Said I should be going the other way, but I thought I was following the uh, correct path. Head back that way and see. take a look at the map here real quick I'm going down to Nogales which there's no way to get over from there so yeah we'll get turned back around and hop over to Sierra Vista not sure what I did there like I said I thought I was uh, following the mini but uh, I guess not That's one thing I've got a little bit better at is taking off on the hills like that. So if you go back and watch some of the earlier episodes, it was pretty comical. I'd roll down that damn hill and kill about everything in my path. Too bad they were getting a little little misdirected. It happens. If that's the worst thing that happens on the rest of this trip, I'll take it. A lot better than having a major crash or incident like that, so I'll take it. There we go. Now we're going the right way. Back on track. Didn't get lost, just got a little disoriented, that's all. Let's set the cruise right about there, because this thing is struggling to hit that. truck pretty easily. Damn, is that an exit that I gotta hit? Yes, it is. That ain't gonna happen. Probably could have hit it, but that would not have ended well. Wonder. Nope. Son of a gun. So it doesn't look like there's any more exits till I get down to San Simon. Man, this is... yeah. Passing that truck... Then the exit pretty much came up out of nowhere. No kind of warning or anything like that that uh, the exit's coming up. I know I've talked a little bit about that in some past episodes. Wait a minute. Wait just a daggone minute. Eh, we can go up here and get turned around. And I probably could have hit the exit, but I would have went down that on-ramp, or the off-ramp, uh, at just way too fast. Would have caused a major accident. Oh, get up that freaking hill already, car. This thing's like a cannonball. Yeah, this thing is not wanting to stop at all. See, we can't hit the parking brake there. Don't die, don't 
die, don't die. Oh, there we go. Call that a decent save. Ended a lot better than I thought it was. Got a truck turning down there at the same time we are, so we should be able to make that. All right, third time's a charm getting down to uh, Sierra Vista. Nah, dude, nah, nah, nah. That's the last thing I need in this trip. Already missed my exit twice, the last thing I need is an accident. I'd rather take getting, you know, get kind of disoriented, getting kind of turned around as opposed to having a big accident. And I'm going to back way down for this. And this is one of those steep off ramps, so. kind of interesting. I wonder if that's going to end up being anything. I'd rather be a little overcautious than just go cannonballing down that ramp. Like we did when I, uh, when I went to the rest area. There we go. We'll get there eventually, don't worry. Uh, back over here. So yeah, we're good. It looks like our destination's not too far away. Take a look at the truck. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Go, dude. Go, go, go. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Seems like a turn lane. That light could have not turned green at a better time. Saved my arse. Watch my speed there. We are going to Eddie's. Yeah, 
And let's see. Uh, 30 XP. That didn't seem too bad. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. That should be too bad. Six and a half hours later. Yeah, these eddies are kind of difficult to uh, get parked in, but I figured the trailer was short enough, I'd give it a shot. Not too bad. Yeah, it's good enough for me. It's good enough for them. Good enough for me. And there we go. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for episode number 20 of Stories from the Road. Hope you all enjoyed. If so, give the video a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch. Helps the channel grow. If you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, I'm going to cut out of here for now. Be sure to tune in Wednesday for some gameplay footage. And like I said in the beginning of the video, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday, so be sure to check that out. But until the next one, take care, and we will be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.